Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video, we're just going to push for um, Hell 15. Um, so we're on Hell 10 at the moment. Uh, let's just see in the rankings where people are getting up to within my war zone. So I'm currently Hell 10 uh, and at 21. So it looks like people have pushed way past uh, where they were before, getting up to uh, Hell 80 um, in this particular case, up to uh, Hell 100. Uh, Scott. Well done, mate. Well done. He messaged me again about it. It was he was so excited. It was it was it was really I, it put a smile on my face. So thank you very much for showing me that it is possible. Uh, apparently, eighty five is uh, just a menace uh, because of the Solomon Bind thing. Um, it's what he was saying anyway. But we'll just see how far we can get. Currently, got a long way to go. Hell ten. So let's press on. Um, the units that I'm going to use in this one. Let's go ahead and. Um, uh, just keep the teams that we've got at the moment. I don't I don't suspect that um, we'll have too much difficulty. And if we do, we can always look to change them out as well. Potentially, I think I'm going to drop Gord. Um, I think it really does need to be three stars uh, or higher uh, in order for it to function properly. So instead, we will go with... What am I putting on? I think potentially Blades of Chaos still. Um, so this one here uh, with our Avengers synergy, we'll take out Mavis, we'll take out um, Lachesis here, uh, and we'll just have a look at what other units are available. I still think potentially, um, I mean, I could even run uh, Janna and uh, Mavis as a combo, um, especially against this team. Uh, so the, uh, the Dooms um, Phantom team, uh, enemies have uh, two Phantoms on the team. Uh, we also have two phantoms in Dahlia and uh, Janna. Then what we can do, we could take Mavis out and we can look for another phantom uh, on here. So potentially putting in... Who else? Ayushita there. Uh, and the reason that you've got Ayushita is because of the phantom synergy. So now you can see we've got three phantoms, four royals, uh, we've got three deviants, but we do also want another celestial. Um, so we'll take out you and we can pop you two in. Um, and it's just so that we can get this uh, this buff here. So the Celestial's buff at the start of battle increases crit rate by 15% and attack by 50% for all allies. And when an ally unit dies, purifies all debuffs on all allies and dispels all buffs from all enemies. So if one of our units is to go down, uh, we can potentially... Um, remove all buffs uh, and all debuffs as well and at the start of battle increases increases the leech rate and attack of all allies by 15 percent and 20 percent respectively so it's a total of 70 percent additional attack with the celestials and the deviant synergy activated uh, and at the start of battle all allies receive two stacks of holy shield each stack can block one instance of damage so we're going to go with that just to pair up with wukong as well now we don't have many others uh, many other synergies we do have two mystifiers in there we have two monarchs in there in the form of Talos and Dullahan. We have the four royals, uh, and this is getting us at the start of battle. All allies receive shield uh, equal to 175% of their own attack for two rounds. It's the start of uh, each stack of buffs and ally unit gains. Uh, increases damage boost and damage reduction by 3% up to 20 stacks. So um, effectively, we want to get as many of those stacks in as possible to get up to the maximum of 60% damage boost and 60% damage reduction. Uh, we can do that quite easily with Wukong and Dahlia as well. Um, now this is the same uh, artifact lineup as we've got. Uh, and on the next team, pretty standard um, uh, pretty standard team here. So Elma, Astrid, uh, Seraphina, Atrops and Eudora. Uh, and I think we can just jump in. Now if we do need to uh, look at the damage reduction on here, we can do. Um, and what I mean by that is we can put in certain units from certain synergies. So we could build around um, the, uh, say for uh, in the second match of Hell 11, we could build around a Dooms team. We could put Dahlia, Ophelia, um, you know, ha uh, potentially Halissa or uh, another Elysians unit uh, on the team uh, in order to uh, get that damage reduction. Uh, in there so just different ways of, of building round I think the first, this one is Glorians so effectively we could have a, a Glorians Monarch team something like that just to avoid taking as much damage as possible um, 
you know, that's that's how potentially we could go about building it. Um, it is what it is, though. So I think there's going to be a lot less confusion um, without the gourd uh, switching up everybody's place. Um, and it's, you know, it, it, it is what it is at the moment. I think that without Wukong, potentially, you can replace Wukong with um, Nyx. I believe she's on the Elysian's team. Uh, or you can replace it with uh, replacing with Themis. Themis is uh, another unit which surprised me. Uh, I got a, a message uh, from someone before uh, who used a two-star Themis uh, in order to deal so 450 million damage or 50 million thousand damage, uh, something like that, um, to the uh, the last stage. So. Um, the uh, Rift Odyssey Stage 100 Nightmare difficulty. Uh, they used that team to, to beat the stage. With thanks to the artifacts, of course. Uh, good miss there. Love it. I think this uh, this front line is, is going to suffer uh, unless we get all of these buffs up and we start getting this damage reduction in. So a lot of misses here as well, which is very good for us um, because we do perform these uh, these basic attacks. Uh, in response as well and Wukong unfortunately not looking too healthy there friend um, with the confused status on and there we go back in action so we do get the, the trades happening uh, and we do have Wukong with the um, the mystic fountain buff as well uh, which will really help him uh, in his survivability uh, especially with uh, granting Holy Shield every time a switch happens. We'll get our additional stacks of Holy Shield here. Unfortunately, no double uh, Holy Shield stacks, but it is what it is. Uh, we do get the splash damage from Sal. Very important, very powerful. And potentially just having Wukong on, on this front line, but you, you do really need him to be switching with Dahlia. If um, Atrops was on this team, uh, I would 100% uh, have Atrops uh, in place of where Sal is, uh, just to get the additional uh, attack. Uh, shame, double hand down. Hopefully, uh, Talos won't go down either. Uh, we do need him as a buffer. Shame, real shame. But we'll just see how well we do here, especially with uh, with Wukong <laughs> getting all those misses in. So it looks like the removal of any debuffs that we have and the uh, the so yeah, removal of any debuffs that we have and the removal of oh Wukong down, shame. We'll just see how well Sal and Dahlia perform here because I know that Sal should be building up, and hopefully we can get some of this splash damage in. We're going to be doing nowhere near as much damage as with Wukong on the team. Shame. So yeah, uh, looks like a different strategy is required because we're just not doing enough um, damage and not even. We're not reflecting enough damage, or we're not stopping enough damage coming back in. So we can have a look on our Elysian's team just to see. And I think potentially Mavis uh, and Janna uh, in this these front two slots uh, can really help out, especially with all of the uh, Doom, uh, sorry, all of the Avengers relics that we've got. And I'm not too worried about the second team dying from uh, reflect damage either. So we'll uh, we'll just have to see how well this setup goes instead. Here we go, so a bit better now. Um, I think potentially if we are struggling, we can change our artifacts up as well uh, to have the effect resistance uh, uh, artifact in play and the effect resistance increasing your effect resistance will stop a lot of the uh, dooms damage from coming through um, so potentially something that we can look at now we don't have the celestials buff um, that we had previously um, and we still have the deviant buff uh, here but um, you know it's, it's not I, I think the Celestials buff was really, really quite important. But again, there's only Lachesis available. Um, and we do want to have Mavis pop off as much as we possibly can. We uh, To have Mavis on the front slot, it, for me, is a much more viable option uh, 
than to have, uh, say, Le Chessis on the front slot. Um, because the enemies, they don't buff a lot like we do. Because it's not a Glorians team. So something to, to keep in mind there. And no double attack. That's a shame. Uh, from Wukong. Yeah, unfortunately that holy shield keeping us from going. As you can see, that was four instances of reflect damage uh, done back to us. And we do get the miss here. So Janna now out of holy shield. Uh, we'll just see about the survivability of the team moving forward. Again, we do have the phantom synergy here. And Wukong down again. Oh, he's doing too much damage to him too quickly. Uh, so it looks like Dahlia was the only one to survive on that one. Let's see what other people are using for this one. So, looks like almost a full, uh, full Avengers team without Wukong and with Sal. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so it's all the same. So it is, uh, it's Lachesis and Mavis, uh, Dullahan, Talos. So we'll see how this one goes. Uh, let's just have a quick check of the artifacts here. So it looks like healing rate uh, and all of the uh, little bits, uh, all of the little uh, artifacts. And then same here. Um, so it should be absolutely fine with this one. Uh, why is Elmer not included on this one? That's weird. Pop you in the front. We'll just go ahead and see how far we can get with this one and see how this team differs. Uh, so it looked like Wukong was doing too much damage for his own good. Um, and he didn't have enough stacks of that Holy Shield as well as the uh, damage reduction um, available uh, through the Loyal's Synergy. So potentially something that we need to look at. Uh, is actually having a Glorians team uh, available. We'll just see. I've not used uh, Naui in this one at all. Hmm. I wonder why there's a healing relic in there in the middle. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're doing very little damage. I don't particularly see how we're going to get through this, if I'm honest. I don't see how this team got through. Hmm. Maybe the splash damage is doing it. Um, Sal doesn't seem to be taking too much damage from him, but. And we haven't lost any units yet, I guess, but we're getting very close already. It's only round two. So potentially. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know how they get through this one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, Sal doing massive amounts of damage on his ice spike. That might help. Uh, HP is quite consistently increasing as well. And we've not died as of yet from reflect damage. Mavis to increase her own attack. Only doing 137 million though. Um, but we did a fair chunk then. We'll just see. We'll see how things go. So Sal on his basic, yeah. I can kind of see why now. If you have a look at Sal's basic, he's doing uh, 700 million damage. So we'll get our shield in back. We're doing much more damage than last time, and we're not uh, we're not dying as as uh, as much as we were. So apparently, yeah, changing tactic was required. We do have that fortitude effect. That's what that shield is, by the way, uh, surrounding um, surrounding uh, Lachesis and Dullahan. Um, we get our max HP increases, which has just saved his life. <laughs> um, is what it is. 
but we'll see how much sales doing on this yeah there you go that's how and that's <clears throat> like i said before uh in in previous videos sal versus wukong if wukong's on the team sal's not doing nearly as much damage as uh, he normally would do um but with with uh Lechesis and with mavis on the team uh, sal putting in the work there I think we can go ahead and safely skip through this one. Uh, yep, round eight, absolutely fine. We can't die to reflect damage because we have the Undying Shield on that one. So when we get to uh, health 15, uh, we can have a look at getting some of those tasty relics. Uh, now, very similar principle, very similar setup here. But I think we should be good to go. Let's jump in um, and just see how we manage to <laughs> how we managed to get out of this one alive um potentially again it will be thanks to uh, to sal um now this is a bit of a higher um it's not shadow it's phantom team uh with ayushtha minotaur and um sylvan there with uh, three verdian surges so we're going to be taking a lot of basic attacks in this first round uh, so we'll just see um, how quickly we can we can start to build up. I think potentially as well, we can change out. Um, we can change out uh, Dullahan and Talos, and we can put in instead. We could put in uh, Wu Kong and uh, Dahlia instead, uh, but we'll just have to see on this one. So as you said, as I said. Lots of basic attack damage on this one uh, at the very start. The way around it typically um, is having uh, increasing your HP uh, as much as possible. Oof, if that second hit had hit, yeah, dull hand down, that's a shame. Um, so we do get the increase in attack as well as we're um, hopefully Sal to, to clinch things out for us again. So Mavis here. I mean, Dullahan wasn't contributing too much. Uh, we do get the attack increase, and as you can see, Sal's uh, basic attacks will go up. Uh, we do have the Avengers synergy as well. But this is, uh, this is a tough one, you know? This is very tough. And I think the last time, I, ju I just powered through it, if I'm honest. Um, I powered through a lot of these stages last time. Sal there able to do a lot of damage very quickly because our team are just dying over and over again. Uh, if you don't know uh, about Sal, every time a unit dies, he increases the attack uh, of his um, ultimate and of his secondary, so the ice spikes. Uh, he increases the attack every time a unit dies. He also um, gains every time uh, he heals or receives uh, healing, he will convert 20% of that into attack. So as you can see, we're healing quite a lot with Sal, which I think is contributing uh, quite tremendously to that. Uh, Mavis completely down now, uh, completely out and over. So we'll see how we are going into this, uh, this next round. As you can see, Sal's got that weird shield around him again. Uh, that is the fortitude effect. Now, the fortitude effect, uh, it will stop uh, it stop your unit from dying. It will go down to one. And we do have max stats for Sal currently. Uh, so we'll just see how much damage he's doing on this one. Tremendous amounts of damage. Absolutely tremendous amounts of damage. It was, what, 237 something million? Now, this is a maxed out Sal. Flip it, heck. Flip it, heck. What the f... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. And that's without Dahlia or Wukong. What the fuck? Oh, that's gross. Sal. Just gross. What the fuck? Pardon my French. I am sorry. I don't swear very often. That was messed up, though. Right, we can go ahead and skip this one. Same, same principle as before. Eudora doing more damage than Sal, of course. And that's crazy. You, yeah, yeah, that's mental. Let's see if this works with these uh, thingy on the team. Hold on, um, with Wukong and Dahlia. Let's go down here. You two, 
and let's try let's try this let's see if this works might do might not if it doesn't we'll just revert back to what we've done before now artifact wise we've been through them all um, oh there we go that's probably why heal rate is increased by 50 percent so your heal rate goes up you're going to start pumping out massive damage because you're healing so much and if sal's converting 20 percent of uh healing into it uh sorry 20 percent of the heals uh then yeah um potentially that's the reason so we'll just see how much uh damage we're actually outputting here uh, and if it was thanks to the mystifier synergy um then we'll we'll just have to see In fact, in a minute, what we're going to do, we're going to info and take off relic animations. Just so we don't have to, we don't have to sit through that again. We can just see the sort of the, the passive effects of it. We seem to be doing a little better now. We're not taking copious amounts of, uh, of relic damage. Yeah, we've come down. Wow. Seems to have fallen off very heavily. I guess because we've not built around him. Uh, he does have his stacks of holy shield now though. Yes, I'll do that damage again. Mavis hopefully can start dying sometime soon, that'd be nice. Oh, Sal stunned. Bad times. And Wukong's still putting up impressive numbers. Yeah, and Sal doing nowhere near as much damage as we've seen previously. Maybe it was thanks to the chassis. I don't know. Um, maybe it just doesn't function on the team very well. That's weird though. Yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be Lachesis. It's got to be Lachesis time. doing anywhere near as much that's weird isn't it i mean we've just seen sal i don't know i don't know why that is oh it's stunned as well what a pain right let's jump ahead got defeated let's take out you two let's pop you two back in i think talus was on this back row let's go ahead and see what sort of damage sal puts out now it's more of a testing environment for me than anything. It must be the chassis dying. Mavis not dying, I suspect, as well. Might be something to do with it. Yes, yeah, so we get that blessing. That's what it is. Uh, the blessing effect. Uh, it lasts for a couple of rounds as well. Yeah, because I guess we didn't get that last time because she was already dead. Just 
stunned as well. What a pain. Yeah, okay. So we won that one. That's weird. That's weird for me. It must be the combination of those guys. Very strange. Very strange. Sound doing massive amounts of damage again, but... I'm going to try this again. I know it. Mm, no. What we'll do, we'll power through, and I'll put it in the next video. So we'll power through until Hell 15, and we can watch Hell 15. I don't suspect we'll have too much trouble on this one. Yep, so that's 14 rounds. Absolutely fine. Uh, and then 8 rounds quite consistently as well on this one. Sal doing the most. Here's the last one. So we do counter Emily. Uh, we do have Plague Removal um, in the form of Talos. So we could keep this team. Um, and I think we will. I think we will just for the purpose of this video. Because we're running We're running up to 26 minutes. And I, I tend to keep all of my videos as, mu as much as I possibly want to go over. Um, I do try and keep them all at 30 minutes um, or less. Just... People don't have time to watch more than 30 minutes, you know, it is what it is. So we'll, we'll have a look at the first couple of minutes of this and then we can skip across. And I've got to do some testing with this team. And I've got to figure out the reason why Sal doesn't do anywhere near as much damage um, as before. It's, it's really weird that, really weird. If anybody knows, by the way, please let me know. Don't, you know, don't keep your secrets. Let me know. I just, I just, for for my own sanity, I think I want to know why. Because this is going to be this is going to be another fourteen rounder, um, primarily because there's three monarchs on the team or on the enemy team. So that moves down. We do gain blessing as well. No buffs removed from the enemies. I find that very hard to believe. They do have the unstoppable effect, you are correct. He doesn't get debuffed. Okay, so we gain a lot of health there. No stuns. Oh, I love that. Love that for us. No stuns. Definitely gonna have to take this team into the lab. Find out what what is going on. Why is Sal able to do so much damage outside of having Wukong and Dali on the team and instead having Dullahan and Talos on the team over having over having Wukong. Um I don't know, maybe he just sucks up all the power. <laughs> Speculation at best. Yeah, so I think as we... Um, uh, no double, unfortunately. Um, I think I'll... I think we're going to wrap it up here. I am going to skip through. Um, if we can't beat it, can't beat it. And I'll jump into it in the next video. Um... But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do have any queries, any comments, anything that you want to let me know about, any secrets that are being kept from me, uh, then please do comment them down below. Uh, and if you can um, like and subscribe to the video, would be really appreciated. You know, trying to get to that 500 subscriber mark um, and then a thousand subscribers eventually. Uh, but can only do that if you go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button down below. It would be really appreciated. Uh, if you like the video, please do. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll I'll let it roll out. So, yeah, you have a great day. Mercy is worth nothing. The fading glow of the, the fading glow of the flames signals our victory.